Greetings, Grapple fans. It's Mike Quackenbush here on Free Match Monday with a singles bout plucked from the recently completed Johnny Kid Invitational for you. Let's take a look as two wrestlers from opposite ends of the experience spectrum exchange holds in the ring. Relative rookie Green Ant takes on the world-traveled Colt Cabana in this match, and the entirety of the tournament is available right now on Chikaratopia.com for you to stream and enjoy. And introducing his opponents. It's been a long time since we've seen Colt Cabana, but the Chikarmi have long memories for our old pal, Boo Boo! Look at him. Professional wrestlers in the history have come from Chicago, Illinois. Just three blocks south of where he lives on Maxwell Street, the one-man gang was from Halstead Street in Chicago, Illinois. They were almost roommates. Almost. Almost. Did you know the Road Warriors are Chicago guys? They are, but they were on the South Side. Oh, they're South Side. Yeah, they're White Sox fans. Oh, go Cubbies. <laughs> sports go sports. Not guilty, that's a reference to the Zahorian trial. Wow! Huh? Glad we got one of those in. Yeah, I have a little funny story about Sweet and Sweet. Are you ready to do this? Oh, yeah, yeah. Tell, yeah tell me that one, brother. Not gonna mention it. It would be the win of a very young career if Green Ant could get past someone like Colt Cabana. And that's not to say that Green Ant isn't accomplished, but he has nowhere near the body of experience. And look at the weight difference between these two, right? Yeah. Cabana, thickly muscled upper body, less so for Green. Yeah, Green Ant looks like his favorite gym at the uh, favorite machine at the gym is the vending machine. Wow. Yeah, he doesn't really uh, he doesn't really have the body of a Colt Cabana. How did you have that lock? Oh, Green Ant takes the pressure off. He's gonna chain wrestle back and forth, but Colt Cabana is a master of that. You know, a couple years back, I think it was for the LDN promotion, Colt Cabana versus Johnny Kidd won match of the year in Europe. So when it comes to someone that's able to emulate the style of the great Brits, like our friend Johnny Kidd, like Johnny Saint, who was in the news this week, yes. nobody does it with the panache and fluidity of Colt Cabana. Now, and look at Cabana. He is just having fun with the rookie right now. There we go. Cabana's enjoying his wrestling this afternoon. The Mexican catapult, he's up, he's down the back. He's crucifixed him, wow! He made that out of nowhere. <laughs> I don't know how he got him over. I didn't think he was gonna get it, to be honest. No, neither did I. Look at this. Cabana with the back bridge, and he's free. This is where you just kick him right in the stomach. Right in the stomach. That's where they're vulnerable, right in the navel. That's right. Colt Cabana and Green Ant. Green Ant tried to accelerate the pace, caught Cabana, turned him over, shoulders exposed. Got a count of two over Colt Cabana. Cabana drops flat. One more time. Green Ant for a barrel roll. Look up. He got him for two again. He did. Now, I talked to Green Ant before the match and I said, hey man, how are you feeling? You know, what do you, what do you feel like? He goes, I have vomited six times. He was nervous. Look at Cabana just rolling right out of the ring. Making friends. You never know who's going to give you good wrestling advice. Sometimes it's a front row fan. That's right. Look at it. Cole, come on, wait, maybe later. No, I'm still wrestling. I'm studying. What have you got there? Oh, it's, just, it's a picture of him. Did this fan draw it? Ah, uh, no, there's no way that that kid has artistic ability. <laughs> <laughs> he probably ripped it out of a magazine at the grocery store and didn't pay for the whole magazine. Is that how you eat grapes? Are you one of those guys? That's the real test of a camera. Oh, absolutely. You eat the grapes before you get to the register. I actually, and I am going to tell you an honest story. This week I went to the grocery store, bought a quarter pound of cheese, quarter pound of ham, and some bread, and I just made myself a sandwich. Didn't pay for any of it. It was great. <laughs> I wish I didn't believe that, but I do. Side headlock, Colt Cabana. All he's got to do here really is crank away, and I don't know. Yeah. We need to try to push his way out, and that's what he did. 
with a size difference like this, a headlock could be a finisher. Look at that, nips up though. Oh, Cabana ready for that drop toe hold. Now he's too low, he's gotta bring that up behind the pit of the knee. He just stepped right out of it. Oh. Well, sometimes when you see a technique that's applied in that way, you realize instantly this guy doesn't have it. I think that's what Colt Cabana realized in that instant. Yeah, Colt Cabana, uh, Bryce Rensburg, it's like he gave Colt Cabana a buy in the first round. Side headlock applied once again. When you're in big, powerful arms like Cabana's got, that could be enough to end the match. One more time, it's Green Ant down to the mat, and one more time, <laughs> Excuse me, back down on the mat. I love it. One more time. This time he brought it up behind the pit of the knee a little more. Now he's got the figure eight. Whoa. Wait a minute, maybe the rookie learned something at the Wrestle Factory. The drop toe hold didn't work, but maybe the figure eight will. Oh, he's trying to take him down. Can he get a cradle? I don't know, there wasn't enough weight on that right shoulder blade, I think. No, not at all. Look at him, he's back up on his feet though, but still trapped. Oh, rolled right through one more time. Yeah. Nicely done. Cole Cabana knows where he is at all times in that professional wrestling ring. World travel. Did not know that long ago, Cole Cabana was in China. He challenged for the NWA World Heavyweight title. Yes, that's right. He beat Harley Race by countout. Is that true? It's always those pesky countouts. You know, the title doesn't change. Yeah, I know. That's how they keep the territory going. So. And then eventually it burns up the territory. That's TV's really strong in China, I understand. Waistlock to Green Ant. Look at that. Look at that. just taunting him. It's almost like a Heimlich maneuver. Well, he's saying to him, hips, hips. But he's not dropped his hips low enough for that to work. Not on somebody. What do you think? Colt Cabana's got 45 pounds on Green Ant? Easily. Colt Cabana, 6'3", 245. Stop! Thank you very much. <laughs> he is wrestling circles around him. Well, the I love when you wrestle Cole Cabana, you really don't know what to make of him, right? No. He really wears his sense of humor on his sleeve, and a lot of times between the belts, you're wrestling, and you take the craft very, very seriously, you don't know what to make of a guy like him. If somebody tells you to stop in a wrestling match, you're gonna stop. And the, the thing is, though, about Cole Cabana, the guy has a mood. Yeah. He is not a good person a lot of times in that ring, especially when you're the boss. Oh, flying Mare. Green and sends him in. He's just telegraphing too far out. Yeah, he really is. You know, Cabana having fun right now, all smiles, but when it's time to go, Colt Cabana is one of the most dangerous men in professional wrestling. Yeah, and that's led him to a lot of the great success that he has had virtually everywhere he goes. This guy race crosses the planet with a schedule that would make most WWE full-time performers blush. Yeah, it really would. This guy here, every pro wrestler's dream right now. Right? You look at Colt Cabana, the man is a genius when it comes to marketing himself. I mean, all the promoters are trying to get this guy on their show and into their territory. He won't leave uh, Ganya. As it, as it relates to truly independent wrestlers, there may be no one more in demand than this man, Colt Cabana. And he, of course, is here today. Whoa! Almost held the shoulders down. For one reason and one reason only, because like quite a few of us, a friend and admirer of Johnny Kidd. Cabana was uh, one of the first people we reached out to for the inaugural Johnny Kidd Invitational, but his schedule did not allow him to be here, and he was on the list since last year. Wow. In fact, one of Johnny Kidd's only matches here at Shikara was in a tag team match where he teamed with Cabana. He handpicked Cabana as his partner. And you were the opponent of that match with uh, Mr. Johnny, Johnny Saint, personal friend of mine. Is that right? Your Absolutely. personal friend of Johnny Singh. Absolutely. He was the one that got me booked for Big Daddy. <laughs> There's so much wrong with that statement. Green Ant now looking for a knuckle lock. Oh, look at Cabana just muscling his way around here. But if you noticed a second ago, Cabana had a serious look on his face, meaning there's a little bit of worry in Cabana's mind right now that the resilient rookie may have something here and may be trying to outsmart Cabana. Right, Cabana is correct here. You can see him mentioning the price. My shoulder is not touching, and he is correct. Dropped it right into the body scissor. This move actually reminiscent of Ken say? Joyce, the trainer of Johnny Kidd. What do you say? Ken Joyce, a very elegant wrestler, and I don't mind telling you, someone I stole from liberally. You've never seen Ken Joyce. He's only ever had four televised matches in the past many years ago. 
Uh, very, very active in the British and Scottish wrestling scene in the 60s and 70s by the early 80s. He was his way out. Do yourself a favor. What a treat it is to watch Ken Joyce, the trainer of Johnny Kidd. And right now, uh, he can't build that figure seven. Not on big, thick legs like Cabana's no. got. Not at all. I mean, Cabana's thigh is the size of Green Ant's torso. So he's really got to work the fingers, go after the eye, pull out a tooth. That's how you're going to beat a guy at Cabana's size. I disagree with the things leaving Sidney Bacabello's mouth. He's got a figure seven. He wants to turn over, maybe looking for the Robin Hood special. And I think these legs are too powerful for this. Well, Bryce Remsburg should notice that Cabana's shoulders were down right there. The only reason he's going to turn Cabana is if Cabana allows him to be turned. Yeah, and look at how close Cabana is to the ropes here. He's in no danger. Yeah, he knows exactly what he's doing right now. Let me ask you this. Do you think Colt Cabana is humoring Green? He definitely is. Cabana's a nice guy. So he's, he wants to give the kid a good match, but as soon as he's in a little bit of danger, Cabana's going to punch him in the face. Well, we won't have to wait long to find out. Now, he didn't have very far to go to make it to that bottom rope, of course. And in this moment, I, I have to say, I think that maybe Cabana is humoring Green Ant. Uh, yeah. Nobody enjoys an afternoon of matches as much as Colt Cabana. You can see how much fun he's having. Oh, he caught him out of midair, changed the direction. Look at Green Ant. Look at him go. This may be the moment here that Cabana, this this may be the switch that Cabana needs to say, all right, enough is enough, because Cabana's, uh, yeah, he's in a lot of pain. Look at the face of Cabana. He may have been playing with him a little too much. I think you are right. The Venus flytrap is what we have here, and it is a wildly painful submission hold. And it is double laced. It is extra difficult to get out of. Take it from a guy who knows. Oh, if Cabana's humoring Green Ant, we may see that upset. I told you though, Mike, as soon as Cabana's in a little bit of danger, he's gonna go. And that's exactly what he did. He rung his bell. Oh, Cabana didn't make it. Cabana did not get back up to his feet here. Good at this. It's a regional. It's like Fred Beale tosses on Minnesota. That's right. That's right. I love that you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> of course, brother. Green Ant. Yeah. Oh, oh, there we go. Uh oh. Out the back door. Green Ant trying to run him in. One of that Pat O'Connor roll. Green Ant fell backwards. Fly. Superman folding press. Come out of the three. Cabana's moving on. We're going to get invitational. Who will win this match? I told you, Black and Bush, as soon as Cabana sensed a little bit of danger with that Venus fly trap, he kicked it into another gear and beat him. He ended it. Cabana's a pro, and he knows that he has two more matches. Cole Cabana looking to go to the finals with a Johnny 